Okay. So uh, today's bio session is all about how you can actually enhance biology education by using various interactive tools. Uh, when we talk about interactive tools here, we are basically looking for those tools by which you can actually create any content related to biology. Here I'm going to demonstrate some online tools like BioRender, Cells Alive and BioDigital. Uh, but before that, I would like to ask anyone, if anyone of you please can share what is e-content? If anyone want to share what is e-content according to you? Lita, ma'am, you are on mute. Yeah, as a teacher, for students, some content is difficult. Okay. If we have, uh, it is a, uh, we have, uh, we, uh, it is, I can talk in Hindi, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You can talk in Hindi, English, in whatever you are comfortable. Okay. With. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, जो subject अपन uh, बच्चों को uh, difficult लगता है, उसको easy तरह से जी. बच्चों को पढ़ाया जाए, समझाया जाए. जी जी. जो अपन नहीं जा सकते, नहीं देख सकते हैं, और with uh, content जो अपन e-content में उनको दिखा सके. जी ma'am. जो हमारे online content है. Uh, we we will make e-content. And we have to understand uh, by the student. It, it has understand by the student. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, ma'am. Huh. Um, basically, e-content refers to any form of online content that we can assess and consume electronically. This include various types of multimedia. And I think you all are very well aware of what are various multimedia and what are the various platforms through which we can use any specific media. So we'll not talk about that. And development of e-content basically consists of how you can create, you can provide, and you can distribute that particular e-content. So let's discuss our first tool. Our first tool is BioRender. So BioRender is based, Hanji, yes. Ma'am, yes, can, can you speak a little bit louder, ma'am? Okay, yeah, sure. Am I audible yeah. now? Yeah, yeah. Is it yeah. fine now? Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay, yes. Yes. okay. So BioRender is basically a platform. It is a platform where a, a teacher can create beautiful biology diagram, not only biological diagram, you can also create a chemistry diagrams as well. Here you can also create various form of posters. You can create various form of graph for it during uh, your teaching learning process. And also you can use this particular tool for assessment as well. So uh, as you all know, there's various platforms available online, but not all of them are free. Okay. So in the basic version of BioRender, uh, you can make uh, five diagrams. You can uh, download your created visuals. You can share your uh, particular diagram, illustration or poster with your colleagues. So they, they can also input their ideas and uh, you can also uh, share uh, these with your, uh, your uh, the students as well during the classroom teaching. You can also uh, take help of live customer support and uh, you the only uh, drawback this uh, version is having that you cannot download more than five uh, poster. But uh, here are... Uh, I will share certain tricks with you by which uh, you can make as many as uh, diagrams you want to make and also you can uh, download as many diagrams you want to. Okay. So what are the all benefits of BioRender? As you all know, it's an online platform, so definitely it will consume less time. Uh, the quality of image and the graph present here are very good. And uh, you can use this platform for making uh, your uh, posters, 
you can also use this for publication but you cannot uh, use uh, you can you not uh, monetize any content with the help of bio render it is not allowed um, in bio render app uh, you can upload your own icons uh, this platform is uh, freely available. Um, in this platform, there is templates are also available. In these uh, templates, you can uh, either edit them or you can directly use them during your presentation. And also, uh, as I have uh, told you earlier, that you can also share this with your friends and colleagues. So I really want all of you to log in with me so that you can understand how you can actually use this platform for making your diagrams or your illustration. Just go on any browser and type www.biorender.com. You can get directed this, to this page. This is the login page of bio render in the login page you first have to sign up in the sign up just write your name last name the company or institution you are associated with write your password what kind of organization you are associated with what's your role in that organization your institutional name. You can skip this slide. After filling all the information, you will get this home page of BioRender. I hope all of you are able to log in in the basic version of BioRender. You have to select the basic version of BioRender. That is the BioRender for myself. Madam, is it available in uh, Play Store also, Madam? Sir, it's not is an it app. It's not an app. Only web, web version, Madam. Ah, yes, yes. Directly type biorender.com in any browser you are using. Please share is everyone is able to log in. I hope everyone is able to log in in the basic version of BioRender app. Madam, I uh, log in into uh, that is BioRender yes, uh, using my Google uh, account. Yes, and they are asking they are asking for password, so I have to create new password for this one, or Google password I have to give. Ma'am, are you an old user of BioRender? I opened that is lo I so, log in into the BioRender. Then so they are mean? they are yeah they are asking for me to create a password. Yes, ma'am. Create my just simply create a new password, ma'am. New password, I will now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 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 
so i'm sure all, you, all of you are able to log in into the bc version of biorender app so, this is the home page of uh, biorender app as you can see on the home page of biorender app horizontally and vertically various tabs are given when you check the horizontal tabs you can see file edit view slides share spelling check etc you can undo you can redo you can draw lines you can draw shapes you can insert any test and in the vertical tab you can see various icons are given where is templates are given where is brushes are given you can also upload your any diagram Okay, this is the home page of BioRender app. So, just on the top, you can see that the various templates are given. All these templates are free. As you can check, various uh, forms are. Ma'am, just we are uh, uh, seeing your PPT, ma'am. PPT first sheet is the screen, uh, only that is there. You're not able to uh, see the app on the screen? No, ma'am. Oh, no, no ma'am. Okay. Okay. Now, what you can see? PPT only, ma'am. No, ma'am. Not yet. Now, not opened. Are you able to see now? Madam. Okay, I think. Uh, wait a second. Ma'am, could you please speak a little bit louder? Please stop sharing and uh, share it again, ma'am. And please share the entire screen. Then uh, whatever the screen display, whatever you display on the screen. Um, yeah, now it's okay. now now it is visible. Now it is.
Are you kids visible now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ha. Huh. So here you can create any uh, dry run. So as you can see, there are various templates available. These templates are all free. You can directly uh, choose these uh, templates for the, your teaching learning process, or you can just create your own uh, illustration. Okay, as you can see, I have already made some of the diagrams which are related to biology, just like the process of photosynthesis. Simple, clear picture of a plant or animal cell. Some illustration like DNA recombination. Okay, in short, in this way, you can uh, make as many diagrams as you want to make. So let's create any illustration. Just go on the left side. Here you can see create new. In the create new, just go on illustration, click on the illustration. Okay, now it's showing you have already made five files. Okay. Simply what you can do now is just okay. Simply what you can do now is just delete any of the previous diagram. Okay. Now I can create new. Okay, now um, if I want to draw the process of photosynthesis, how I can actually make an online uh, presentation related to the photosynthesis. As you can see on the left side, various icons are available. Below icons are free templates and below templates are free brushes. So just simply click on icons. In the icons, you can see various forms of icons are Give it, which are related to the cell types, protein, human anatomy, species, agriculture, etc. So, as you can see, there is various icons are already given. You can also draw any icon with the help of brush. Various brushes are given. With the help of this brush, you can create or you can draw any diagram. Just all you need have to do is just drag and drop okay as you can see with the help of brush i'm able to change the shape of the cell so if i want to make cell line that i want to change the shape of my cell i can simply change with the help of brushes. So as you can check, various brush options are given. With the help of this, you can create any structure, like suppose if you want to um, discuss about DNA recombination, you can simply draw any structure. Okay. Suppose I want 
to uh, discuss photosynthesis in my class. So, for this process of photosynthesis, first of all, I need a plant. So, simply search the plant is mucosal. Okay. As you can see, various uh, options are available. In these options, I can choose any diagram and simple. You have, all you have to do is just drag and drop. Okay. You can change the size. You can change the color. Excuse me, ma'am. I am not uh, observing the I mean, uh, screen. Screen. I think it is not shared. Or I, I am not getting you properly. Actually, I am observing you. Yeah. Screen is visible, ma'am. Okay. Please it's check. Visible. Your connection. Yeah. Screen is visible. Please check your connection. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Huh. So simply you can change the color of your plant as well. Then if suppose I want sun. So I simply try sun. Whether any icon of sun is available. Because you can see the icon of sun is available. And if suppose for example the sun is not available. You can simply draw the diagram with the help of shapes. Various shapes are available. You can also color this shape. You can also make various rays coming out of sun. Okay, simply, so what I'm trying to say is that you can draw any particular icon. If it's not available in the icon, a portion, you can simply create your own icon as well. Okay, now I have sun, I want soil. Whether any soil is available, yeah. Okay, please share what else I need. Water, 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 carbon, water. Dioxide. carbon dioxide. Okay, water, carbon dioxide. You can also change the color of the soil as well. Just insert your test.
okay in the test in the test you can see that you can also give heading to your illustration you can add paragraph you can write citation you can write subheading etc Okay, so in this way, you can make your own illustration for your any biology class or for your any biology presentation. Simply explore these options and from the upload option, you can see you can upload any image as well for any particular illustration, suppose you need any particular icon or image which is not available in the icon portion, you can just simply upload your own image as well. So thus, you can simply use BioRender for your biology teaching. From the share option, you can share this. You can share this illustration with your colleague from the export, simply download this illustration. Okay. Madam, uh, yes. Madam suppose, suppose in the digestive system, oh. I want to uh, include, suppose the gallbladder. Okay. Yes. Suppose okay. it is not in this template. Am I oh. uh, downloading it from the Google? Can I insert into here? Oh. Is it possible? Yes, ma'am. You, yes, ma you can simply download from the Google. And you can simply draw on your paper or draw on any paper and just upload that image. Uh, another 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 question, uh, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, suppose emulsification of the fat. I want to show means yes, what we are doing in the duodenum. Suppose oh. emulsification of fat. Am I showing the videography in the here in the? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Here you can simply it's draw the possible. diagram on illustration. Here, here you cannot insert any video. Okay, okay. No. But if, is any video available here? No, ma'am. Okay. Ma okay. I'm making another example. Can you recap once again? Okay. Okay, ma'am. Let's discuss about... Ma'am, actually, I have very limited time, so I want to explore other tour as well. But as uh, you're asking uh, for a quick re review, so I'm just simply create a digestive system for you. The icons go on the human anatomy. In the human anatomy, you can all see various icons are already given Icons of stomach, icon of intestine, villi, liver, infected liver as well. So just simply drag and drop. You can change the color. And suppose you want to discuss about like individual organ. You can do the labeling. Ma'am, can we add uh, any animation for that? No, sir, this is not for animation or video. Okay. You can simply create any diagram or illustration or poster or graph, etc. Okay. So, okay, in short, what I'm trying to say that with the help of BioRender, in this way, you can create
simple as well as complex illustrations. And you, you can see I have made a diagram of DNA recombination by using brushes. You can make such illustration as well. Okay. So, okay, I hope it's clear to everyone. Let's move on to the uh, next tool. Okay. So my next tool is all about, as you all were already asking about animations. So with the help of this tool, that is the Cells Alive, you can uh, share various animated cells diagram with your students. So basically, Cell Alive is all about cell biology, microbiology, immunology. Here in this uh, uh, website, you can see various animated cells diagram. Simply on your browser type, cells alive. I would like all of you to log in with me. Just type cells alive. In your Google search, you will be able to see cellsalive.fun. I hope all of you are able to search Cells Alive online. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, so, sir. Okay. This is the home page of Cells Alive. In this this home page you can see there's various animated cell diagrams are given. There are various interactive cell models, cell puzzles, interactive uh, mitosis, meiosis, cell cycle. You can compare about how big any virus, any bacteria, any immune cell. So there is various animated cell diagrams are given. In the cell models, just click on the plant or animal cell. When you click on the plant or animal cell, you will direct to this page, start the animation. When you will start the animation, you can see the animation of plants and animal cells are given. <laughs> if you click on any particular organelle, you can see the functioning of this particular organelle is given. Like bulky. Cell membrane. Okay. So, okay. So this is animal cell, and I'm clicking on cell wall. So you see, animal cells do not have cells wall. Simply chloroplast. In this way, you can assess knowledge of your student as well. Here the animated cell models are given. On the content portion, you can see the various contents related to cell biology, microbiology, immunology are given in the explore. And suppose any day your students are not interested in studying anymore, then you can simply play these knowledgeable games with your students like memory game. So what is the benefit of these puzzles or games? The help of format was Sorry, it will be very easy after the after the lesson, it will be very easy for the Huh, it's very yes, easy to assess the knowledge of your students. It will memorize the spelling of certain organelles. Okay. And also, 
you can use the worksheets So various worksheets are given. You can simply download and distribute these among the students. Ma'am, is it open source, madam? Yeah, it's an open source. Yeah, it's free of cost. You can download as many images as you want to download. Various puzzles are given, various PowerPoint presentations are given. You can also use this PowerPoint presentation in your classroom. You can also edit this PowerPoint presentation and then you can use this presentation in the classroom. So basically, there is endless things which you can do by using this app, by using this platform. Okay. Now, at the end, we will discuss about the biodigital platform. So basically, biodigital platform is a platform where you can get various 3D anatomy related to various diseases, uh, uh, treatments, uh, particular uh, diagrams. So for to assess uh, biodigital, simply search biodigital human in Google. Simply search as biodigital human, you will get this page. You have to do first sign up. Write your name, email address, password. Click on the basic version of this app. After doing all these things, you will get directed to the home page of BioDigital Human. In the BioDigital home page, you can see on the left side on the top, the explore option is given. In the explore option, there is anatomy related to the region system, complete human anatomy, cross-section, anatomy quizzes, various communities are given, and very specific human anatomy or systems are given. Okay. So simply click on explore and you can explore any human anatomy. like you want to discuss about chicken pots in your class there's various 3d structures of various infectious diseases are given and you want to discuss about chicken pots Okay, have these the 10 free views for this month. So there is this drawback of this particular tool that I can only use 10 free views. Anyways, I've already logged in from a different account as well.
okay so just try to explore where is options which are given in this app in my the my a library you can start your own 3d model from the explore portion just upload any 3d anatomy model in the my library and then with that particular model either you can label them you can make uses related to them as you can see there is various 3d anatomy given so simply try to explore these tools and i really hope you found it all interesting and useful for your biology teaching that's all for me any question or any query dear participants do you have any query related to any tool hello ma'am yes ma'am Hello, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You're audible. Uh, actually, in uh, this one, bio render, can we use like our own uh, drawing? So this one, ma'am, in bio render. Yeah, yeah, the first one. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Let me please, please, please share. Uh, please ask again. I'm not able to hear properly. Uh, suppose, like, uh, I want to teach uh, a biology class, and uh, yes, ma'am. Drawings I have drawn in my uh, like the pre pre drawings that I have drawn in my note. Can I uh, use it in that software? Like uh, Mama ma mentioned that we can use images from uh, Google, right? Uh, is it possible to use my drawings? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You can also upload your drawing as well. Okay. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay, ma Ma'am, for bio render. Yes, sir. Uh, is it pre version or paid, paid version? Bio the render. Basic version is available. In the basic uh, version is free for everyone. In the basic version, you can create five diagrams. But uh, uh, suppose uh, you have already used your five uh, diagrams in a particular class, then simply delete any particular pre created visual. And then in this way, you can create any new uh, uh, illustration. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay, now I would like to call Ms. Uh, Nidhi Arbulakha, ma'am, to TT yeah. for the session. Yeah, uh, yes, ma'am. Excuse, excuse me. In biodigital.com, here also we have to create our uh, own uh, means. Uh, they're asking for password and all this thing. We have to do here also, no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I hope. Are there any AI related websites, madam, for biology teachers? You want to know more websites related to biology teaching? Madam, AI. By using AI. You want to use AI? Hi, madam. So you can use, and like a looper is available, you can use a looper for AI. Okay, madam. Now, this for more fun and game, uh, game activities. Now, I would like, like to call Ms. Nidhi, uh, Nidhi Arlakha, ma'am, to TT for the session. What do you, ma'am? Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, one more. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay. In this uh, bio digital, the actual thing is like, uh, suppose in a classroom, I open this app and it is just for like letting the students know the specific things, right? Yes, ma'am. So yes, ma'am. In this and that. Sorry, ma'am. I'm not able to hear you. Like, last question. It's, it's like uh, we can't do like uh, hand things like uh, sketching, drawing, and all. No need, not just to show it to the students. The direct. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma thank you. Thank you. Uh, you cannot draw anything. It's oh. basically a 3D platform. Just for showing. Okay. Uh, the... Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, Nidhi, ma'am. You can take this session now. Thank you, ma'am. I'm going to share my screen.
Is my screen visible to all of you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so you tell me how we have a slide about the what the oil and the things are there for the creative quality of the Now, we have to extend that discussion on how we can get certain gigs and activities. So there are certain websites for the help of which you can Okay, each of the ones are what kind of the are curiosity in their mind. So, what are those that start coming over that? So, the question is, yes, ma'am, audio is not clear. Excuse me, madam, audio is not at all clear. No, ma'am, some disturbance is now there is some disturbance in the back. Okay. Am I audible right now? Now Voice is very low, ma'am. Voice is very low and Man, lots of disturbance. Ma'am, your voice is there is some there is some disturbance in the back. Did you please speak a little louder? So now is it better? Is it yeah. better? Yeah, it's okay now. Okay. So you know, I was talking about that uh, in this session we are going to talk about certain websites through which you can engage your students in activities and games related to biology. So students can learn by playing games. Like the first website which I'm going to talk about is Nova Labs. So you can click on Nova Labs. So the first one is the page appears. So on this page, you can see on the left corner there are certain uh, titles given. So when you click on each other, I have already opened. So here, first of all, I have opened now. Are any virtual? So here, what you are doing is this printed for the student to have to fly. Here you can see in the lab, students will play the role of molecular engineer. So when they give such kind of tasks to this, they get even more interested in learning. So they get interested in learning and then they understand in a better way. Excuse me, Excuse me ma'am. There is some disturbance in your audience. Your... 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 Ma'am, ma voice is interrupted. Audio ma overlapping, ma'am. Ma not... Listen properly. Nidhi, ma'am. Ma'am, audio overlapping. Mm -hmm. Now, is it better? Huh? Is it better? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Is... Not yet. Is it okay? Uh, is it voice is now? Be your uh, voice. Okay. So, some no, humming... Your voice is okay, madam, but uh, other voice is disturbing. Others' voice. Okay. Uh, now is it better? Now am I clearly audible? Or still the disturbance is hindering my voice? No, ma'am, it is disturbing. It is disturbing. Yes.
मैं मारे स्टार्टेड नाउ इज इट बेटर नाउ एम आई ऑडिबल यस मैम नाउ क्लियर ओके जस्ट गिव मी अ मिनट आई विल क्विकली शेयर माय स्क्रीन Okay, so is my presentation visible to all of you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I was talking about that. First of all, we are going to talk about Nova Labs, in which students will get chance to play games. So I have clicked on the link. Here you can see in one corner there are certain options given. One of them is exoplanet, polar. evolution rna so what are these there are games related to these topics so i'll take you to rna lab here you can see play game option is given when you click on play game you can sign you can join as guest so i have joined as guest when you explain about rna after uh, students have studied about rna or you have started teaching them about rna you can uh, continue the discussion with the help of this game or you can ask students to play this game at home uh, by that they will get information about rna and along with that they will get interested in this topic as well so here uh, there are different levels we have to start from the basics so i have clicked on basics all the information is written you can go through this i am directly taking you to the game so here you can see that a block appears where it shows uh, the gives the instructions and at the top here it shows that what are what is our mission what we have to do what we are supposed to do below you can see that the four bases are given so adenine uracil guanine cytosine as you know rna is made up of these bases so now i'll click on next here they are telling that rna is made up of bases there are four different types of bases they are giving all the information because uh, when students will do they may know this information or they may not know so that's why they are starting from the basics so here uh, first of all they are telling that your job is to paint them so uh, mission is given paint an rna strand red so we are supposed to paint the entire rna strand as red that is by guanin so here also they are giving the directions that paint all of them red so we have to click you can see that the arrow has also appeared you have to click on guanin and then click on each of them like this so here they have told us that we have cleared this level now we will go to the next level here the next mission is paint an rna strand red blue and green so red refers to guanin u refers to uracil and c refers to cytosine we have to click on play and then they are telling that i am supposed to drag the pack so i have dragged it now only the three are highlighted so whatever i am doing everything is written here all the information is given so you can uh, uh, make the students play in the classroom or at home it's up to you so i am clicking on guanin when i clicked on guanin and then i am clicking on the highlighted ones you can see that the yellow color has changed to red and my first mission is completed now the next mission is to red to paint rest of them as blue and green that means uracil i have clicked on uracil now when i'll click on next i can drag all so i have done and uh, painted all of them why we are painting because uh, in the next step we are going to talk about the bonds between the bases that's why we are painting here and we are uh, making uh, students familiar with different bases and differentiating them by different colors so now i have to paint three of them by green that is cytosine i have clicked on cytosine and again drag 
the mission is completed. So I have to click on next. I hope uh, all of you are understanding. Am I understandable to all of you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so again, the next uh, information is provided. Bases attract each other and form bonds. So they are telling that which bases make bonds. So uracil and adenine, they bond with each other. Guanine and cytosine also, they bond with each other. And uracil and also can bond with each other. But here you can see that the density is different. The strongest bond that is between guanine and cytosine is shown by a dark bond. The intermediate bond that is between uracil and adenine that is uh, shown by intermediate one. And uh, between uracil and guanine, the bond is very weak. So that's why it is quite blur. So now we have to pair a pairs are that are next to each other in the palette form bonds. So here they are showing that these are the pairs which make bonds. We have to click on next. These bonds cause RNA to fold into specific shapes. So what they are telling with the help of these bonds, RNA folds into specific shapes. So what is happening? We are playing also and we are getting information side by side. So the next question is make one of each type of bond. So we have to make these bonds. And how many? At least one for each of them. So again, I'll click on play. And now either I can click on one of them, like I have clicked on A. I have uh, clicked on uracil, then clicked on this, that was already blue. So either I'll uh, take each and every base one by one or the so faster option is I'll click on the pair which is given by them itself. So I have clicked on the pair. When I'll click here, it will automatically do that. I can do this also. But they have said that I have to paint blue and red as well. So I have not done that yet. So the mission is not yet over. So I have done it and the mission is complete. So like this, we keep continuing. Your job is to fold RNA into specific shapes by painting bonds. So what we are telling students that we can um, join, we can make RNA, we can fold it into a particular shape by making bonds. And there are loops, there are stacks, all that information is given. Now we have to paint next seven bonds so like this when you'll keep continuing there are multiple levels so you will reach at a trna level when you will reach at trna level they will show uh, that there are different trnas i'll spend two more minutes on this just to represent this i have clicked on the pair again and we can do it quickly also Here, we just need to select any pair and the, so by this students will remember that which are the strongest bonds here. You can see the three bonds have different strengths. G and C is the strongest one, AU the medium, UG is the weakest. So they have given all this information. So by this, students are uh, getting to remember what which bases uh, make bonds, which bonds uh, among which bases are the strongest. So all that information is provided while playing game. So the next mission is paint stacks using the strongest bond. So we they have already told us that the strongest bond is between G and C. So, and the mission is we have to paint bonds with the strongest ones. So, we I'm clicking on the GNC pair. And here you can see I have to click only the one in which key is not drawn. Or here, this represents the red line shows here I'm supposed to make bonds. Once I'll complete this, the red line will disappear. You can see the red line has disappeared because the bonds are made. So they are telling when we click on this leaf, 
it shows as the uh, basic structure without folding of RNA. And when we click on the target mode, it shows the folded RNA. Now, they are telling, I have bonded four pairs on this RNA with GC. Switch to natural mode to see what this did. So, natural mode, we click on it, uh, it shows that the RNA is folded because the bonds are there. Okay, so uh, to paint RNA, we need to go to target mode. So, the mission is match the desired RNA shape. So, we have to do 17 or more GC bonds. So, we have to make 17 or more GC bonds. So, by this, the child is working as a molecular engineer and is also getting to know the basics of RNA, why bonds are formed and between which bases bonds are formed which are the strongest, which are the weakest. So while playing, they are getting all this information and they can remember it very easily. So I had completed the basic one and now I have reached at the trial one. Trial, there were three trials. I have read at the first trial. So this is one of the PRNM. So when we, uh, we are supposed to click on the hint, it is telling to start solving this puzzle. Close the hint by clicking on this. Okay, so it is telling that you can take help from hint. So here they are telling that we have to make on uh, make bonds on these red regions. And here they are telling GC are the strongest connections. You will need to put them at the weakest points. So weakest points, con uh, what are the weakest points? The girders. These, the place where the, the loops and the stacks are joining. So these straight ones are stacks. And here, uh, the open ones are loops. So by this, students are getting to know how to label the structure of RNA. And which are the weakest points? They are also getting to know these are the weakest points. So here, the strongest bonds should be there. So I'll click on GC. And here, only these are highlighted. So I am clicking only on the weakest points highlighted in the game itself. So what is happening? I'm simply playing game. But I am getting to know a lot of information. So like this. It will keep continuing. Now paint strong bonds. Okay, so now we are supposed to paint strong bonds. Why I am completing this? Because it will show you the purpose of TRNA. So by playing this, I can drag all this. So by this, it will be faster. So when I drag, it was faster. Now they are telling, drag your tRNA into virtual cell. So this is virtual cell. This is tRNA. When I dragged my tRNA in this virtual cell, now it is showing that this tRNA can take the amino acid labeled by yellow. So here they are saying that the tRNA collects protein building blocks, that is amino acids. Different tRNA be able to carry different amino acids. So we have to design another tRNA to grab the green amino acid. So by playing this game, what students have got, they have got to know the structure of RNA and they also have got to know that um, uh, different tRNAs, what they do, what is their purpose. And uh, multiple tRNAs are required for protein formation. So so much information they have got just by playing game. Along with that, there are other games also like this, Exoplanet. So when you click on Exoplanet. Okay. Okay. I'll show some of them because we have limited evolution as well. So first of all, I'll show this. Or okay, I'll, I'll do one thing. I'll show evolution first of all. So I'll not be able to show the entire game. As you have seen, it took a lot of time. So I can only show the basic, uh, the introductory part. So here they are telling, we can click on play. 
So all the steps are shown. So first of all, we have to look at the video. Start three basics. An evolutionary biology of a tree is a depiction of how different species. So with the help of these videos, what are we doing? We are getting information. Then I clicked on play. Sorry, I just took you quickly. Okay, so there was uh, an option of play. Um, I clicked on the play and then what is the mission? So here, the first step is red, green and gecko. Your first question is simple. Is a fungus more closely related to an animal or to a plant? So to get to know this, we have to play the game. So when we play the game, drag these two species into the center of the screen to start building your tree. So they are telling, they are giving all the steps. We just need to follow. Now drag the shared trait onto the tree. Both species share this trait. So place it here beneath the split point. So they are telling what is the correct point where this particular trait should be. So what are we doing? We are uh, performing different steps and by that we are getting to know different information. So there are multiple levels. I am just beginning, uh, showing the beginning of each. Like one of the participants had asked for evolution. So I had shown the beginning of evolution. Now I'll take you to the, I'll take you one second. Uh, I'll take you to the other lab also, like Polar Lab. So in this Polar Lab, the, as you know, because of the climate change, so many things are happening. What we are going to do or what a child is going to do by playing this game, they are going to join top scientists on the hunt for clues that tell a surprising story about our planet's past and preview where we might be headed. So by this, students will get a lot of information about Earth's past and also about climate change. So I clicked on play game. So here you can see it is showing enter the lab. Can you see in the middle it is showing enter the lab? When you clicked on enter the lab, there is something big is happening to our planet. This climate is changing and there's a lot being balanced. But what does it all mean? And how does it compare to what's come before? It turns out the poles, Arctic, and you can see that there is an introductory video and there are multiple videos so that uh, students can get to know the basic information and what they are supposed to do. All that information will be provided either in the video or in the written form. Quite a bit to tell us. Locked inside the ice and rocks at the top and bottom of the world, are clues about our planet and its climate, where it's been, what's happening now, and where we might be headed. Welcome to the Nova Polar Lab. I'm Caitlin at Polar Lab headquarters, and you're going on quite the journey. We've assembled a team of the best top-notch scientists to guide you on your expedition. I'll be by your side, and we're all here to help, but it'll be up to you to find the clues and piece them together to answer some pretty big questions. Work your way from pole to pole, talking from massive glaciers and frozen tundra to world-renowned laboratories. Watch videos, play games, solve puzzles, and earn stickers. Collect enough, and you'll unlock extra goodies. And keep track of your quest in your field notebook. 
play the polar left and be part of a team racing to understand our planet. So by this, what we have got, we have got the information required. So they are telling, click and drag the globe to navigate. So you can navigate the globe. So what I have done, I have clicked and dragged the globe. And then explore by selecting the location icon. We can right now only click on the new mission because the rest of them shown here are the upcoming ones. We can't go on the upcoming mission. We can go to the new mission. So I click on this new mission. It is telling me, it is giving me the basic information. What was the Arctic like 50 million years ago during a period of time called the Eocene? So many times we talk about fossils, we talk about different uh, period of time. So we can go at this particular period of time and we can explore how it looks. So it is taking us to the location. It is showing the location where we are going in the game. So here it is uh, giving us a field notebook. So like this, uh, everything is planned in this and you can play the game, entire game. The entire game takes a lot of time. So I cannot uh, show the entire game. Uh, I can only show glimpses. So I'll quickly show the glimpses of uh, this one also. So in this, what you are supposed to do, You can see this is Exoplanet Lab. So NOAA's galactic team, NOAA's team has received this dress code. NOAA's team, what are, have they received this dress code from whom? From aliens. So aliens are in desperate need of new homes. So do you think that to, by this statement, students will be excited about this? I think they will be. So students can help these aliens. Students will help these aliens to find out the habitable exoplanet for them. How will they do that? They will do that in the same way the scientists do. So by playing all these games, students will have the feel that they are working as scientists. And while playing this game, these games, they will enjoy and they will learn as well. So here you can see there are three things, intro, lunar hub, star view. So I'll click on intro. So we have to go step by step. There again, there will be a, there will be many videos which will be guiding us so that we can um, play the game properly. So here they will first of all give us all the required information the scientists use regarding the planet and how to choose planet, how the planets revolve around stars, what is the distance of a particular planet from a particular type of star and why. So they give all the information. So while playing this game, students are getting a lot of information which they may not gather otherwise or they may not able to remember otherwise. But by playing these games, they will definitely be able to remember. Other planets beyond our own and ask the students to the Earth. Let me be the first to congratulate you on your acceptance to the Novana program. Thanks. So uh, here uh, we are telling that students have joined NOVA NOT program. So they are also going to work like scientists, space scientists. We've assigned you to one of our most important programs, the Galactic Resettlement Team. You'll be the lead scientist. So here they are telling that the players, the students will be the lead scientists. So just by listening to such terms, they will be super excited and it is likely that they will participate with enthusiasm and will remember much more. Discover me. This place extraterrestrials. Aliens. They need new homes. They're gonna find them. A couple of days ago, our lunar outpost received a distress signal. You need to go investigate. Ready? So here the students are going to do investigation and they are taken uh, via the space shuttle. So they have reached 
at the space center so students will feel like they have they are entering the space center so by having all that feeling they it is likely that they will understand and remember and participate enthusiastically to the nova lunar outpost hope your ride was not too bumpy i am forgetting myself I am ARI, the Artificial Resettlement Intelligence, assigned to this station. You can call me Ari for short. I will be assisting you throughout your missions. Do not worry. Headquarters will be sending along training videos from their top scientists to get you up to speed. Click and drag to change your view. When you are ready, click on Start to begin your training. So here they are telling that we have to click on the star view so as to begin our training. So you have got the idea that uh, there are multiple games and multiple videos which give the required information and by playing these games students will definitely be very much interested in biology. And they will get to know that biology is not only about uh, remembering facts. It's about uh, using information, applying information, and solving problems. Okay, so I'll take you to the next website. That is the biology corner. So on this one, you will get different type of resources. So first of all, here you can see here we have different resources. If I click on uh, this or this one, this is a case study. I have clicked or I have opened this case study. So here the information is given as there. There are multiple such kind of case studies. You can click on the PDF and when you click on the PDF, you get the worksheet. So here you can see that the information is provided, first of all, and then some questions are there. So after studying the information, when students will answer, they will understand the entire thing, the lactose intolerance. So by the students are getting information, students are not getting information by the um, traditional method. They are getting information by a different method they are they will be more interested in remembering and not remembering in understanding so here we have uh, multiple um, topics which are covered in this way you can see so i have opened one of them but now i would like to take you to the other thing that is dissection so on the on one corner you can see that there are dissections if i click on one of them that is of cat here you can see that uh, the information about uh, cat and dissection is provided when we scroll down. Here, here we have image galleries. So we have to click on the image gallery. We have to click on the image gallery. So we have clicked on the image gallery. Here you can see that the cat muscles are shown. Cat muscles are shown. So which we normally cannot get the photograph. In the same way, other dissections are also given, like for the rat also. So you can click on them. So you can show them to the students so that they'll get the required information about uh, how the cat, uh, how the rat looks like from inside. Still the time. Yes. So rat dissection. And you scroll down again. There is image gallery, photo gallery. So when you click on it, you can see that the the dissected rat is shown and how the organs are um, arranged all that is given so you can show these pictures and make them understand that how different organs are uh, arranged in our body then after dissections here you can see there is a step so you can 
click on assessment that is Kahoot. So I have clicked on Kahoot uh, assessment quizzes. I have to accept all the cookies. Here you can see that uh, on multiple topics, free quizzes are provided. So if I click on any one of them, like I have clicked on worms and mollusks. So you can open any of them because all of them are free. You can uh, click on play solo. And then you can click on flashcard. By clicking on flashcard, what are we doing? We are giving, giving information to the students. So here, first of all, the question and the diagram is given. When I clicked on it, it flipped and it has given me the answer. Then I'm clicking on the right. And then the again, the next information is given. I clicked on it, it flipped it, and it gave me the answer. And then again, like this. I can uh, show all these flip cards to the students and then I can ask them questions. Okay. So I can ask them questions in the practice session. Here I'll click on practice. So here you can see worms and mollusks. So first of all, the same. If you remember, we saw this same flashcard and answers are given. Uh, if the student has uh, studied it, uh, or noticed it carefully, then the student will remember it. Otherwise, the student will not remember. I'm just simply clicking on anything. So by this, you are getting to know whether the student has understood or not understood. So by this, first of all, you can show the flashcard and then you can ask these questions in the practice session and then you can make them play the game. So by this, students are getting engaged in variety of topics. So they are getting information about variety of topics and not in a boring math, not in a boring way, but in a very interesting way. Then uh, we are left with the three, four minutes. I'll quickly show you the last option, last resource as well. That is BioEd Online. So this BioEd Online, I'll click on this link. So on the Head online, as you know, activity based classroom is uh, in trend. And when we perform various activities, students get more interested. And the point is, student. Uh, the point is to attract students' attention for a particular subject or in a particular class. And for that, if we play activities, students will be engaged and they will understand in a better way. I hope I am clearly audible. Am I? Yes, ma'am. Oh. oh, it's about to be over. So I'll just quickly show you. So there are uh, activities I have scrolled down. Here you can see grade K2, that is kindergarten to second class, grade 3 to 5, 6 to 8, 9 to 12. So you can click on any of them and uh, you can get to know that uh, what all activities are provided. So as I'm scrolling down, you can see that the activity is given. I can click on the activity and then so you can see that uh, here we have uh, I can click on this reassessment and I clicked on reassessment. Then when you scroll down, you can see teacher background is given objective. So thank you everyone.
uh, I would like to thank all the resource persons, all our internal and external resource persons for giving us the knowledge on various subject specific tools. I'm sure all the participants have benefited from the session and they will further use these tools in their classrooms. I would also like to announce that we have shared the evening attendance form in the chat box. So kindly fill the attendance form. We have already shared it in the chat box. Uh, please fill the attendance form. And now we will